we're going into hurricane season and we're going into prime lightning season in this area. And it's very, very important as a homeowner uh, to look at what your risks are. And with the lightning strikes, you want to make sure that you've got adequate surge protection in place. Um, but you also want to look at your insurance policies and to see you know, if coverage is available for your situation to make sure that if you were to have a lightning strike that you're going to be covered. Uh, surge protection is very, very important and there's all kinds of surge protection that's out there. Look at what do you have to have plugged in every day. There are certain things that you use once a month. Well, those things simply, you need to go to the house and unplug those things just to protect them just in case. Uh, but then there's a overall house protection, which is a surge device, which you can put on your meter or on your breaker box. Um, but you see a lot of people, they buy these surge strips and they think that is the answer. And oftentimes those are simply used as an extension cord. So you have to be very, very careful as to the kind of surge protection that you, you get. Uh, everyday uh, surge on your home, yeah, those things are going to work. But the lightning strikes, they get a little bit higher in voltage. And um, so you have to be very careful there. So you want to talk to your um, electrician or whomever you're buying the surge protection strip from to make sure it's going to meet your needs. You can often find those that come with insurance and um, they'll have a dollar value which provides a level of insurance for you. So you want to go out and um, if you buy, let's say, and it, it can get relatively expensive up to a hundred, a couple hundred dollars. But the, in buying that, you buy insurance protection so that you, if you do have a surge on your equipment that you've got some insurance protection. You know, lightning strikes, and, and they're going to happen around here, are going to hit your system, and because they are all connected, um, that surge on our system is going to cause our equipment to wear down over time. And it's going to go to the weakest point within your system, and it could be a transformer and cause a crack, which causes a leak. If you've got a transformer leak and... Uh, and you notice it, you see oil stains in your yard, you need to call us. We've got a department that's uh, a transformer apparatus repair shop, and that's what they do. They go out and repair transformers, and we don't want a situation where the oil leaks out of a transformer and you have a, a, a equipment failure. But, it, but if you've experienced problems with our service and there's some issues about responsibility or you just want further clarification on it, feel free to give us a call. Call our customer service number. Ask to speak to myself or somebody in the electric department, and we'll be happy to clear those issues up. We're on it. That's right. PwC wants to be able to restore your services as quickly as possible when an outage occurs. That's why we've got a new emergency number to help you report those emergencies easier. 1-877-OUR-PWC-1. It's toll-free, it's automatic, and it's easy and it'll virtually eliminate those busy signals. 1-877-OUR-PWC-1.